Thanks for staying with us. So we've had this conversation and now we're going to be having our guest to join the conversation. Um, but before we go there, do we have any tweets so far um, on what you said so far for, for bringing our Yes, we have guests. tweets. Uh, Tiger Lee says... Uh, it doesn't mean you will remain being together, probably because everyone already seen it on social media and there will be no room for side chick or mistress. Sometimes they just want it on the low. Many people just want a low profile. Yeah. Now that's talking about the side chickism we're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Baba go ahead. today says oh, there is no due diligence in relationships. The person only wants to have you and shun others. After he gets you, he does his own thing. Another person said, ladies should always listen to their six senses mm. when they are about to date. Please. Oh, Lauren Leke says, I'm a single guy. Flaunting girl on social media as a proof that she's the main girl in a big scam. <laughs> I flaunt many girls plus my main girl on social media <laughs> statuses and timeline, but I still know who my main girl is. Mm. I think what's important is for that girl to be more focused and real, and that's what I'm uh, saying. All right, the player so, determines the side. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring in our guest. She's a Nigerian multiple award winning actor who came into prominence in 2008 in her role in Reloaded. She's still one of the screen favorite with a huge fan base using her movie roles to make positive impacts. Welcome with us, Nse Ikpe Ektem. Yo, yo, yo. Hi, Nse. Oh, welcome to the show. Uh, hi. <laughs> no, it's always lovely to be in your company. Yeah. Thank you for having me this morning. Thank you, thank you. So we're talking about side chicks today. Valentine is around the corner. Hmm. And we're trying to help ladies understand if they are the side chick and how they can handle that situation. What's your general view on this issue of side, side chickism? <laughs> Mary, I'm um, I think a relationship is between two people. Um, but then again, the... Uh, oh, my God. I'm sorry. My, my dog is... It's okay. Can I just open the door for him to step sure, out? Sure, sure. Just That's a fine. second. Sure. Do you mind? It'd be nice oh, to see you. Sorry. It'd be nice to see the dog. Nice to see the dog. The dog was probably going to pee, so... Well, I'll say I hello. Okay. I would like <laughs> to say hello to the dog, to the dog Mr. Producer. All right, so for me, um, I, I think <laughs> that relationships are between two people, and um, when you have a case of cheating, that's when you have a side chick. Say hello. Hello! <laughs> What's his breed? That looks different. What breed is that? Sorry, what? What breed is that? He's a, he's a whippet. Ah. He's a whippet. Whippet. Nice. Interesting. Different. Okay, so you're um, saying. You're Greyhound family. Oh, Greyhound family. Yes, and I Great. think it's just. Yes. I think society generally has allowed. Um, there's a lot of. Has allowed um, a lot of things go unnoticed, and then we've come to accept that there will be side chicks. But I don't think it's something we should accept because it is what you know is is going on. Right. Um, it's a choice right. to be a side or not. Mm. I I don't think that um, I don't think anyone should just wake up and decide I'm going to be a side chick. But then again, some people do make those choices. But do we, we put the responsibility on the I mean, men? The, the men are the ones that make them side chicks. So we so instead of making the women feel like oh you would accept it to be a side um, chick. I, I'm not. I, okay, listen. So a man says, hi, my name is, let's, let's assume his name is um, Peter. Right. Oops. Oh. Network. Oh, wow. oh inside, we can't hear you again. It happens everywhere in the Just world. Just ask it. You, you have a choice to say, no, I will not have this conversation anymore. Right. And honestly, yeah, because I've had... Um, and this is a conversation that my, my other half and I were, were having the other day. And, um, you know, I messages from a particular person. And I thought, why are you still doing this? I've said to you that I'm... With someone. In a relationship. I'm, and he would say, yeah, but I just want to be friends. No, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> you know, and... And then after pushing you away for a bit, still come back again and say, hi, I just thought to say hello. I miss you. Miss me from where? <laughs> How do you know me? Hi. Do you see where I'm coming from? Right. So there's, there's also pressure. And uh, some women do not know how to handle pressure. Mm. And so because it's also the thing that says, 
just keep asking. Just they ask and they ask and you go green, you go green. <laughs> you know, you are becoming... Right. Right. Okay, let All me right, throw in said, a few questions for you, Greg. Um, how do we handle... Uh, because we know that the uh, ratio women to men, women are more. And somehow, mm -hmm. everybody wants to have a man. How do we handle the fact that what? the men are fewer in number and would have more women than just every man picks a wife? There will be girlfriends, there will be psychics, there will be second wives, third wives, even the wives. They start as uh, girlfriends before they get into the house as wives. How do we handle that, knowing that women are more than men? Shouldn't we just tell ourselves the truth and open it up? for men to marry more than one, like the days of our fathers. Hmm. We'll start with your husband. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll, I'll, I'll say something. That's an interesting take you've got. Oh, but yeah. then again, <laughs> who made it? Who made it? Who made it? Um, who made it OK for the man? Don't you think it comes from a patriarchal point of view to have more than one? Would it be OK, even with the lack of men for me to have four men as my husband yeah mm. right because it's just uh, that's my point so there's so many women mm. i accept that we have more females but why are we pressured to get married mm. is that why you were born to just be born so you can be married mm. there's a lot more to life than just marriage. having that as the, the uh, marriage time. as um, a feat or as the trophy you must attain. Hmm. There's so much more. Hmm. Yeah. So let me ask you this. And if you have that, there would be no pressure to be a side chick because hmm. there are too many women and I need a man. You need no. a man. Hmm. Right. Okay. So yeah. let me ask you this question. You're a very confident person. <laughs> You're very opinionated. How was, before you got into this relationship, this partnership, how was the dating scene for you? What, what, what was the general perception of the African man to your opinions and the personality that I see that you have? <laughs> okay. Um, a lot of them actually do not respect women. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, a very, it's very sad to say. But, you know, the lack of respect, which is what probably might drive a younger woman to go for a much older man. Because he would, they, they're looking for a father figure, someone who would treat God. them better than their contemporaries. And on the other hand, the, the, the much older man would probably be looking for a trophy wife hmm. to show off to his friends because it shows he's still viral, he's still young. Mm. Do you get where I'm coming from? Right. Yeah. And right. so they tend to leave the much of women alone who now don't find their contemporaries to date mm. okay. or be in relationships with because the much, the much older man can still right. um, have father kids right. with a much younger woman, but definitely not a woman his age. So it, it's, right. it's neither here nor there. But then you also have um, the father that says that uh, the reason why a, a younger woman would go with a much older man is money. Right. Yeah? Right. And status and security. Right, right. Those things might come to play, but also the, 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 there's also the argument that it could be love. But when it's turned the other way around, you're more likely going to say that they're in love. <laughs> and so let's so come everything will count against them either way. And so let's come to you for a moment because Valentine's is on Sunday. Hmm. What are your plans? What are you? What's that? that what's anniversary, that? by the way. Sorry. It's my anniversary, by oh, the way. Oh really? Whoop, whoop, whoop. You're so definitely a lover girl. Yeah. Paint <laughs> tells the picture. Show us the picture of what Sunday's going to look like for you. What are, What are you planning to have? What would you like to have? What plans have you put in place already? Give us an idea. Because many of us are in here in Nigeria. We don't even have an idea what to do. We don't know. We are clueless. <laughs> so give, paint us a picture of what you're thinking for Sunday. Okay. First, there's the lockdown. So we certainly can't go out for a meal. Um, we would probably just have a normal day, apart from the fact that we'll be thankful that we are together, which is not something that a lot of people might find. Um, I would definitely cook a meal. 
and we would have a drink or two. Um, new bed sheets, um, yes, um, so bed sheets. So and, <laughs> no, there's some bed sheets movement, which is good. Oh, okay, okay. So she has a bed sheets movement. That's it. So, um, <laughs> I mean, knowing, I mean, watching in there, and I think you know, I will get flowers. I don't. I think I will get flowers. I always okay. get flowers. Ah, oh, yeah. nice. Okay. I mean, yeah, Lisa, you know, you've been here with us once before, and I know your energy. You know, you're just explosive. So what I expected was we're going. You know, we're going to do some flying, skydiving, skydiving, <laughs> <There's a lockdown. laughs> bungee jumping, <laughs> something. Uh, okay. Lockdown. What was it last? What was it like last year? Just last you know, year, two years normal. ago. Okay, what was it last like? year? Yes. So what is a dream, typical inter um, before pandemic? What would have been a typical inter uh, Valentine celebration? Um, okay. <laughs> we would actually um, normally, for the times that I've been here, would go to Scotland and be away. Okay. Why Scotland? What's 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 up with Scotland? Yep. We'd go to um, Aberdeen most times. It's, it's been okay. We've done Edinburgh on our um, on our on our um, on our anniversary before, but and, um, Edinburgh or Aberdeen, and then we do the things that adults do. How about that? <laughs> yeah. I'm interested in this. Okay, I'm going to go on a quick commercial break. We, we, want, de we, we want more details. Oh, You're not giving us enough details. What do adults do? Exactly. I want. There's a explain. name. <laughs> We're going to break. We'll let you think about it. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> right. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We still have Nse with us. Nse, are you there? I'm always here. Yeah, great. So one of the things we've observed is people, the pressure on people to give gifts during this season. They're not sure the right thing to give. Um, girls are not sure what to give their, their, their boyfriends. Boyfriends are not sure what to give their girlfriends. In your view, do you, how, what suggestion do you have for people on what to, how they can make the best of this Valentine's season with gifts? Um, so, um, so let's say, um, I'll start with when there was no, when there wasn't a pandemic. I, I, I like, I, I tend to um, mm. prefer, um, um, what do they call it? experiential um, gifts, yeah. you know, like uh, maybe like um, flying, like, you know, you can, you know, if someone enjoys, if someone has a dream or had a dream of becoming a pilot and never quite became that, you can yeah. get them a gift like that. Mm -hmm. um, if someone enjoys, um, I hope it's not too early to talk about alcohol, um, <laughs> whiskey, you can get them a whiskey and um, it can be in their name. Right. And then you can get, let me show you some. So I did this, um, I think this is about three years ago. So it was a letter in a bottle. It's pretty cheap, but it's a keepsake. Yeah. Oh. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Nice, cute. So, so I just wrote a letter, you know, just write a letter, put it in and tell them how much you care. So, you know, this, um, this thing's, it's not, it's not so much giving me a house or right. giving the person, you know, things that, well, they might prefer that. It depends on what you like. <laughs> but little things that are memorable, memorable right. is really, uh, really, um, really um, nice. And sometimes if the man can cook for the woman, or if, you know, because most times um, women tend to do more of the cooking, mm. right? Yeah. So if it's the other way, and then if it's a case and does more of the cooking, the woman can decide, Today I'm cooking us a meal, something right. I've never made before. Nice. It can come out a disaster, but the fact yeah. is you both did it together, together and you had fun together. Right. So that's something that can happen during period um, like the lockdown now. <laughs> cool. You know, um, yeah. All right, cool. Yes. So in fact, hmm. we have uh, yeah. a few like young yes, girls now. We have like young girls watching, and um, some of them would say. Okay, I have these two, two people I'm dating, and one brings this really expensive um, bouquet of flowers, you know, and has a lot of money. And this person now writes you just a, writes a card. The other person. You know, the other, the other person writes, you know, gives you a card. 
and she's trying to make a choice. Okay, who do I finally go with? Because <laughs> here in Nigeria, the more you give, it means you're generous. If you give a card, it may not necessarily mean that you don't have much, it's just that you're stingy. You're stingy. What do I tell a young girl, you know, coming up and dating and um, met with such a and dilemma? He's judging a relationship yeah, based, based on, on this. these gifts. I'll tell you a story before I answer that question. So, eight, I think it's getting to eight or nine years ago, eight years, I think eight years, I'm not quite sure when I got married. Um, I hope he doesn't hear that. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so um, I had a few people who who were, you know, who were in line, not for marriage, of course, it was just people wanting to date and all that. And someone had given me so much money and had just literally sent me so much money. Wow. And my phone rang and it was my... It was my um, my present uh, partner, who had uh, was calling to ask for my hand in marriage. <laughs> there I was with a whole lot of money. <laughs> I said, "Can I call you back?" <laughs> what a dilemma! You have money. I have love. Right. Yeah, but you know the funny thing is, it was. What are the thoughts behind the money? And what are the mm. thoughts behind just the question? Right. What are the thoughts behind the card? Mm. Sometimes it's not what you see. It's the things that you don't see mm. that truly do matter. Absolutely. It's the things that you don't. And Absolutely. we're here. We're still here. He hasn't given up on me. Neither have I given up on him. So I probably did make the right choice. Yeah. Wow. That's so a nice nice love story. <laughs> Please, I want Is to it? ask a question. <laughs> oh, sorry, because um, it's, it sounds so sweet, but you don't... I'm, I'm a PDA person, and we like... I like to put my love on social media, though my husband doesn't agree, so we, we not <laughs> as much. But I, you don't, I don't even see yours. Like, we don't... You are a, you're a known face, but you don't put anything about your relationship like that online. Why? I'll see how I... Because I've, dis um, I, I, I've come to accept the fact that my life will constantly be scrutinized mm. by everybody, yes. which is something I, I, I've had to give up. I've given up my privacy because of the, the kind of um, profession I'm into. So do I want him to be part of that which I suffer? No. So it is actually love that makes me keep him away. Was it your choice? And it's not because I don't care. Um, or is more of my choice. Okay. No, it, it's not. Um. I, okay. Should I say we haven't spoken about it a lot, because I know that a few people who've been there on my page send him messages and say to him that oh she never puts you up. Mm. But is wow. that where I'm? Here? <laughs> oh wow. my. Oh. Wow. Um, right. Here. It's not for you to see that it's perfect. Right. And I'm not saying that people who put it there don't have a perfect relationship, but I'm comfortable in the fact that I have something I can call mine and I'm not sharing it with anybody, so yes. I'm selfish with them. Ah, that's nice. awesome. I like that's that. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, so uh, Nse, I, I know that um, in the African context, when women are about to choose, or young girls are about to choose who they marry, they put financial security very, they, they take it very important, especially for people who come from poor homes. This, I, I had, growing up, I had a lot of people around me who had to make a choice for the money as against the love because they wanted to be in a position where they could help their parents. Now, uh, I want you to give an advice to parents that are raising young people now. What are the sort of things they need to do to ensure that their children are confident enough in their skills to make their own money so that they don't choose a partner because of financial security first? The first, okay, the first thing I'd say to, to, to parents who are, who, who, who think it is not the duty of the child to take care of the mother. Mm. It's the other way around. Mm. We have been forced to believe that when we work, we have to take care. No, we don't have to take care. We don't have to take care. We have to take care of us first. 
And, and that's why a lot of people are under pressure. Oh, my family has to do this. I, I would like my mother to have this. I would like my mother to have this. Yet you don't have a job, but you want to come to another person's son mm. or daughter to take care of your family. Mm. It doesn't make any sense to me. Mm. And that's personal. Right. Do you see, it, it, because that pressure where, okay, Okay, we're trying to get her back. Just and Seth she was yes. entering, entering the <laughs> cocoa of the matter. Oh, oh. goodness. Okay, we have to wrap time. up. I wanted to find out what she was working on. Yeah. And say, are you there? Um, oh. And say, we lost you for a I'm minute. Here. Yeah, we I'm... lost you for a minute, but it's okay. We have okay. to wrap up soon. But I'd like to know what you're working on. Let me okay. know what you're working on so that we can at least catch up with you and your career. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So um, I'll just say that. Okay. So parents should just instill a self, um, um, a sense of self worth. Right. So it's not you don't get bought. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. Even if he has money, it's because you truly like it. Right. Yeah. And so for my career, um, well, that's been yeah, fantastic. Even though it was a year of pandemic, and I'm thankful for it. So I've got a few films in cinema right now. I've got Sanitation Day, and I've also got um, Fine Wine. And um, we've got, um, I've got a few more coming. <laughs> I've got a few more coming. Um, there's um, KOB, which should oh, be on Netflix really nice. soon. Wow. Fingers Looking crossed. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. And, uh, wait. Can't that's wait the wait. <laughs> the wait, which is also, and uh, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. You know, for busy. women who wait. And wait. Yes, you have been busy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations, well and say. We look forward to seeing those movies yeah. very soon. Well done. Unfortunately, we have to wrap up now, but thank you. Sensei. It's always a pleasure having you on the show. We love your Fun insights, your with. experiences, your thoughts. We appreciate you. We love you so much, Sensei. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Happy wedding mm -hmm. anniversary to you. Ah, yes, happy wedding, happy wedding anniversary. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we can do. <laughs> all right, thank guys. You. Okay. That's all we can take on the show. We wish you all the best. What are you guys doing for Valentine's? Anything special, ladies of your view? <laughs> I'm going, I need to rest my body. I need to I will ah, sleep. Well, I'm going to have a massage. Well, we're working. going to be with our families. <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm going to go to dinner. I have to find a way. Even if it's in my house, you have to find dinner. Find yeah, there's dinner. more fish my husband bought. I'll grill it. Ah, we, we have, have to run. We have to run. <laughs> we have to That's really all nice. we can take. Sweet. Oh. All right. See you Monday, guys. Have a fabulous weekend. And, then, and a safe, safe Saturday. Please be safe, especially in Lagos. Mm. Stay safe. See you then. Bye for now.